this level uh, is um. First of all, the graphics are really cool here. They're like isometric 3D perspective. Basically, you got Psycho, who's the crow. Fuck. Throwing puppies out a window, which you must bounce on a marshmallow into a funnel to reach a doghouse. I don't know what kind of drugs they were on. At least the graphics are nice. Thing is that it's really fucking hard, and there's three rounds. That there's th there's four rounds on each level, and after all that, there's three different levels of this, and by the end, it's almost impossible. Not to mention that. Uh, you can get killed by fire sometimes, and I don't know why. When I was a kid, this pissed me off so much, and it still does. It's still very irritating. What you need to do is you actually want to get the bomb into the funnel, which makes no sense, because you think the bomb would be damaging, but he actually picks it up and throws it at him and damages him. And you have to do that four times to beat the level. It's... Yeah, it's counterintuitive, and it makes no sense. But you're a worm in a spacesuit, bouncing a marshmallow, bouncing puppies on a marshmallow. So I guess you can't really think logically about this. And the music sounds like you're in like, like you'd think you'd be like making pizzas or something. Like I don't even like get it. I think that this is called the f the fugue. Or is this Tarantella? It's one of those two. It's like a classic shitty song. It's not bad, not a bad song really. It's just really cheesy. It's something you listen to while you make pizzas in an Italian restaurant. Anyway, you can drop a total of four puppies and then he attacks. The, the dog gets pissed off and he roids out like the Hulk and attacks you and you lose 30 percent of your health. And I don't know what causes the fire to kill you, but you can also... Oh, see, and I want that, because that's an extra life shit. That's more important than the dogs, because that will... Well, give me an extra life. And you also get to continue at one point. You see, it's getting hard now. By the end, you have to use this dodge move, and you have to press the button to swap the mark. You have to. You don't have a choice, because it comes down to milliseconds of... I fucked up there. He's going to attack me now. There's no point in running away. He'll fuck your ass up, and then you're just back to this. That's the only thing that doesn't make it too hard, because if you lost all your... If you died there, this would be almost impossible. And also, if the bomb hits the ground, you take damage, too. It's ridiculous. How many things can fuck you up on this level? It's the hardest level in the game, aside from the final level, which is just a pain. But none of the other levels are difficult at all. At all, really. It's very odd. I guess there's one office type level that's kind of tricky, but not really. Only because of a couple enemies. Okay, see this? You want to get. That's a continue, man. That's the one thing you really want to get. That's, that's like, more important than the puppies. Like, fuck that. Just get that stupid worm. Can of worms. Wow.
two more times, so it's just like, fuck it. Villy people. It's like village people and the villy inside a stomach, I guess. Micro villy. So now I don't even know what you're supposed to be. I guess like a baby worm? I don't... It makes no sense. It also makes no sense that there are sheep in here, but then again, there's pinball. A pinball machine also, so really... This is so. This is such a random and weird stage, and it's at this point that you realize that this game is almost just a collection of mini games. I think what they were trying to do was like a Donkey Kong Country style um, swimming stage, like aquatic ambience or whatever it's called. Ammo. You don't actually get anything for bouncing on these. They can only damage. If you touch the wall, it like sucks your insides out and you take damage. So you don't want to touch the sides at all. Now, see these worms. These baby worms, I guess you could say, are used for a trivia game at the end, which. Fuck. Which is about as weird as it sounds. As far as why, there's no explanation. This game's just going out of its way to be fucking weird. There is a sandwich here, and the sandwich gives you double life. And you need that, because the next level is ridiculously annoying. It's not hard, it's just fucking annoying. It can take like 20 minutes if you don't know what the hell you're doing. Way cool! And that's another thing, if you're if you're touching the sh sheep when they blow up, you take damage, even if you're not physically, like if you're in, within a certain invisible hitbox, Groovy. it's really stupid. And for no reason, there's just a house at the bottom here, like what the fuck am I looking at? What's interesting is that the, the N64 Earthworm Jim is basically about, um, like, going into Earthworm Jim's subconscious. But this is sort of like almost the same fucking thing. Okay, so here there's a path, and the only difference is you get uh, more worms, I guess. It's not hard, anyway. And For the most part. Tender. <laughs> but yeah, there's really no point to even playing the trivia game because it's just fucking stupid. The trivia game is just like a joke and you can't even guess the correct answer because they're all joke questions, so it's just... It's real, unless you memorize what the joke answers are, but then you'd have to play it like a hundred times or look up, look it up in a guide. Unless the answers are randomized, I don't even know. Now I feel like I'm looking at like the wall of a TGI Fridays in the 90s. See, TGI Fridays used to have like all this shit on the walls. like tubas and stuff and then they decided to do away with that because it was really tacky and weird but I guess they thought it was cool at the time the 90s was a strange time okay if you're a kid growing up in the 90s was weird
So yeah, as I said before, the game has a lot of variety, but it's tedious. You're just doing the same fucking thing over and over again. This is what this stage is like. It's the same thing over and over again. And that's how ev just about every stage is. There's no variety in the actual stages. So you're just... It's just well, constantly just... Swimming through the world's longest... I'm gonna guess it's a cow's intestine, just because the game's got an obsession with cows. I think this is the mini game here. The trivia. Andrew. There's two mini games, and one of them is Simon Says. Okay, so this game show is really stupid. When is Jim's birthday? I guess today if you have a present, but I guess that was wrong. Why? Okay, that one I guess, what's her name? There's no reason to get these items, like they tear up as you get the... See that one I just guessed the most Japanese sounding one, it turned out to be wrong. The Battle of Hamstrings. Well, that was 101 DM. Where the fuck that means. May I please be excused to go to the bathroom? I'm gonna say. Really? The Industrial Revolution? And these guns are also worthless, because the next shooting stage is, like, so far away, and you'd probably die by then. Why? And whose head is that, also? It's... Yes, but Simon didn't say. incredibly fucking stupid. Okay, so this is important, but it's difficult. Because you can get a continue here, you can get an extra life, and you can get a bunch of shit. Green. Green. Pink. It's hard, though. Unless you write it down. Green. Pink. Pink, it's always different. Green, pink, pink, pink. Green, pink, pink, pink. Green, pink, pink, pink. Yellow. Green. Green. Three pink. Oh, what did I do? Whatever, that's all you need anyway. I, I don't know what I screwed up there. I thought I had it. Because that makes a whole lot of sense, man. Whatever, the next stage fucking sucks. 